Farm manager, farm supervisor, are you experiencing lameness on your farm? Are your animals finding it difficult to move or they are finding it difficult to stand or even favoring one leg, what we call a medicine, non weight bearing lameness? Have you heard about food rot? It's very common, especially during the wet season. And I know some of you who are raising livestock, ruminants, especially cattle, sheep, and goats, you'll be experiencing this on your farm. And why is this so you want to ask? It's because of what this wet season brings. When the rain falls and the soil is mushy, you know, the mud, you know, if the if the animals pass through a marshy place, these soils are lodged up in their home. And when they lodge up in their home, you know, the, the bacteria responsible for this condition, Fusobacterium and the Chelibacter, you know, they love anaerobic environments. By anaerobic, I mean an environment that they do not have air, that's oxygen. When they find these environments, you know, they prefer it rapidly and they eat into the hoof, the structural architecture of the hoof, making it liable for infections and inflammations. When this occurs, you know, your animal is in pain and is unable to move. Now, when this occurs on the farm, what do you do? The first thing to do, like I told you, one of the predisposing factors is wetness. So it's to make sure that, you know, the animals are kept in a dry environment. When you keep your flock in a dry environment, it reduces more than 70% the risk of the animals coming down. When you have done this, the next thing to do is to identify which of them are infected. When they're infected, you isolate them. When you have isolated, it's important to provide a food bath. In this food bath, what do we use? We use things like zinc sulfate. If you can't find zinc sulfate, you get formaldehyde or potassium permanganate. Things that are easily seen. When you have, you know, um, provided these things or you have diluted them in your food bath, you make sure that these animals are put on a regimen. Every 10 days, you make sure that within your flock that the hoofs of these animals are washed every 10 days. When you do this, you greatly reduce transmission and bring this disease to the heart of the farm.